a high school in New Jersey was evacuated because a student brought a plate like this to a science class. Now, why would they evacuate a school because he brought a plate like this? Well, this plate is actually coated in uranium oxide and it is radioactive. And so someone uh, overreacted just a smidge and uh, yeah, shut down the whole school, called Hazmat, Fire Department, Police Department. Uh, the police went to uh, the kid's house to make sure everything was safe. Uh, and that is uh, pretty interesting that that level of um, response was called for for something as simple as this. And I picked this one up at a uh, local antique shop uh, here in Montana, and they can be found almost anywhere in the United States. It's at a distance of about 10 inches. It's still detecting radiation. And as it moves closer, it goes up to its maximum value right now, which is around, you know, 48 to 50,000 counts per minute. But this radiation isn't very penetrating because just putting this normal ceramic plate right over the uranium plate and there's barely any detectable radiation. So this Geiger counter I'm using actually uses a pancake probe and this allows uh, alpha, beta, and gamma radiation to enter this and be detected. And right now I have it set up to counts per minute, CPM. And if I want to check to see what the gamma exposure is on this plate, I would have to put on this filter here, which can sometimes be a little bit of a trick, but there we go. Now this switched over to microsieverts per hour. And so that kind of gives you, this is it. Microsieverts is a, or sieverts in, its, in itself is a way to measure uh, dose, and, or sorry, grays. But so to figure out how much dose this plate is giving you, On contact, it's giving around, uh, it looks like around nine or eight microsieverts per hour. And that is about the same as a chest x-ray. But that's only at surfaces. If I move this away from the plate, it drops off dramatically. And so that's the trick with uh, radioactive sources. And this plate in particular is that if you just move away from it, it's actually pretty safe. And so the student bringing a piece of this plate, which is only about the size of a quarter, as I understand it, so a very small section of this plate, uh, that posed very little risk to anyone there at the school unless they decided to eat it. Uh, that's the only way it would really be dangerous is if, they, uh, if someone were to be eating it or to uh, grind it up and inhale the dust. So what's the takeaway from this here? Well, not to overreact to radiation. That should be the one. Yeah, that school uh, kinda, you know, really screwed the pooch on that one. I don't know why uh, educators uh, would um, not research something a little bit more before making such a snap decision. But uh, hopefully they learn from their mistake or even realize that it was a mistake. <laughs> But anyway, take it easy, and uh, yeah, enjoy your day. So tell me what you're